Now I hope you feel much better about acceleration and that you understand what it's all about and that it's about velocity increasing over time. Now what I want to show you now is just the acceleration graph, okay, the graph of the acceleration versus time and just how that influences the graph of velocity and displacement over time. So let's start by looking at a random acceleration graph. Now here I'm trying very hard to draw straight lines and I'm not succeeding. Okay, well, that looks not too bad. Okay, there's my time is my independent variable and acceleration will be my dependent variable. So let's say acceleration changes. Now we did say that acceleration will be constant. So I'm going to just do a random one here and there. And here's another one. Okay, so what does this actually mean? Okay, let's put in some values and then I can explain. Let's say this is five seconds and that is after seven seconds. And let's say that is 10 and that is negative 10. Okay, that's negative 10. Okay, so what this means is that for the first five seconds, I have a constant acceleration of 10. What do I mean by constant? I mean acceleration doesn't change, it stays at 10. Then all of a sudden acceleration is zero. For two seconds long there is no acceleration. And then let's say this is after 12 seconds. And then for the next five seconds acceleration is negative 10. Now remember this means my velocity is increasing. Velocity is increasing when acceleration is zero that's what it means if my horizontal acceleration graph is on zero that means velocity is constant okay constant and then if it's negative 10 my velocity is decreasing. Okay, now how does all of this influence my other two graphs? For example, my velocity versus time, how is that influenced? Well, let's have a look at this first one. Of course it tells me that my velocity is increasing but I do not know from where. I don't know what my initial velocity is so let's assume I was starting at zero. Now my velocity is increasing. That means after one second my velocity is not zero anymore it's increasing to let's say 10 meters per second. It means, there we go, for five seconds, that's a straight line supposed to be, for five seconds my velocity is increasing. Each second it's increasing with 10 meters per second, so after five seconds I am traveling at 50 meters per second. So if my acceleration graph is a, um, a horizontal line above the t-axis, then I see my velocity graph is an, a climbing, it's increasing, it's got a constant but an upward slope. Now it says for the next two seconds my acceleration is zero. This doesn't mean I'm not traveling, that means I'm not increasing my velocity, which means my velocity stays at 50 meters per second for the next two seconds. So for two more seconds, I am from five to seven, I am traveling at 50 meters per second. Then, all of a sudden, my velocity is decreasing. So I'm at 50 meters per second. Now I'm decreasing my velocity for the next five seconds. And I'm also decreasing it at negative 10 uh, meters per second. So 
at 8 seconds I must be minus 10 would be negative 40 and this continues until I'm eventually after 5 seconds I'll be again at velocity at 12 seconds will be 0 meters per second again now if this was continuing further onwards okay so I was decreasing my velocity for more than just 5 seconds it means I would continue down here and I'll actually be having a negative velocity remember what negative vectors mean it means it's the same vector but in the opposite direction okay so now I'm turning around so if my acceleration is below the t-axis then I'm actually seeing that my velocity is a straight but downward slope okay what does all this mean for my displacement so displacement graph okay here's my displacement graph okay so what does this mean for my displacement versus time okay well as you notice my velocity is increasing over time that means every second I am making more and more ground so this is more or less what that would look like you see during the first second I only have a small displacement while during this last second of the first five seconds my displacement is much larger then for the next two seconds I have a constant displacement which means it is a straight line for two seconds okay not a constant displacement a constant velocity so for the next two seconds I have a straight line the first part is actually a parabola shape now during the next five seconds I am decelerating which means I'm going slower and slower having less and less ground that I'm making so now I am slowing down so it's doing this until I'm standing still if I were to continue to stand still for some time it would go straight okay however if according to this velocity I'm actually going in the negative direction now in the opposite direction means I'm getting closer to the point where I started with which is zero so now since I'm decelerating in the opposite direction I might even do this with the parabola okay if I continue to decelerate if at some point during my deceleration process I go back into a constant velocity in the opposite direction then it would go into a straight line and it would take longer to get to my final position okay um, I hope you got this this is a little bit difficult it's probably one of the more difficult to understand topics uh, but it is very important so make sure that you understand this quite well. We'll see you in the next video.